Chelsea have reportedly thrown their hat into the mix to sign Manchester City forward Arsenal target Gabriel Jesus this summer. Of course, we know that Chelsea Football Club need goal scorers. Of course, we know that Chelsea Football Club are looking at removing Lukaku from the mix. There's rumours of the likes of Pulisic and others going. Gabriel Jesus, Premier League proven, a great track record as a goal scorer, wanting more time, wanting more minutes. Could this be the answer to Chelsea's prayers? Or do you feel this could be a ploy to push Arsenal along to get them to increase their offer after... Weeks and weeks of talks between the parties involving the North London club, of course, Arsenal and Manchester City. We're going to delve into that story in a bit more detail and the news this morning that Bakayo Saka is also a target of Manchester City. We're going to go through that story in a bit more detail to get your take on it. But make sure you're smashing the like button. Make sure you're subscribing to the Football Terrace. Let's do this. <laughs> Welcome back to the Terrace, everybody. I hope you are well. Two big stories circulating this morning that I wanted to get your taste on. The first, as we can see here, a tweet uh, shared by Madrid Extra, quoting from the article stating that Real Madrid have jo are joined by Arsenal, Tottenham, and now Chelsea in the bid to sign Gabriel Jesus. Chelsea now reportedly in the mix for the player as well. <sighs> I want to get your take on this. I want to get your thoughts. And there's a number of different things here. Why do you think this link, link has happened? Could it be to pressure Arsenal? Spurs have been linked pretty much the last two months alongside Arsenal as well, without anybody close to Tottenham saying it looks like a substantial bid is going to go in. It's almost like a loose inquiry. Real Madrid's name has come in in the last few days, primarily because they've missed out on Kylian Mbappe. Chelsea, I'm surprised it's taken them this long to link Chelsea. Why would it not? Chelsea need a goal scorer. Chelsea need a striker. Chelsea need somebody, I mean, not cheap, but you know, 50, 45, 50 million euros is what's being discussed. It's good value for money, is it not? It's good value for money. When you look at the overarching costs and everything else included, it looks pretty good. But is the interest from Madrid from Tottenham, and now from Chelsea, real? That's the big question for me. Can I see him being a success at Chelsea? Of course I can. If I can see him being a success at Arsenal, if I can see him being a success at Tottenham, if I think that Gabriel Jesus is a good, high-quality striker, who is Premier League proven, who can hack it in the Premier League, can hack it in the Champions League, there is no reason to think he would fail at Chelsea, at Tottenham, or of course at Arsenal. But the big question is, is the link real? Is the link real? That's what I would be concerned about when it comes to this deal. And I'm not too sure whether it is or it isn't, if I'm being absolutely honest. This feels like, to me, a ploy to push Arsenal along. Personal terms for Arsenal and Gabriel Jesus have been spoken about as being agreed, waiting for some con concrete confirm confirmation ourselves <clears throat> on that. But this feels very much to me like a ploy and an attempt to push Arsenal along. Around 35 million is what they've bid so far. City want nearer 50. There's essentially a, a problem, a differential of £15 million. The agent of Gabriel Jesus, I think he's pushing this more than Manchester City. Let me make that very, very clear. City just kind of sitting. City don't have these financial stresses and worries. If they end up keeping Gabriel Jesus, they're not going to cry. There's been a number of players that have 
quote unquote, been on the market, been available, looking for moves from City in the last few summers. Raheem Sterling, Bernardo Silvers, Gundawans, who have all then gone and had really good seasons. So I don't necessarily think City are too stressed about this. It's more the agent. The agent. Listen, the agents aren't shameless. They do their jobs. They want their player to get the best move possible. They want their cut. They want their money. So they do a lot of work. If we see a, a concrete, you know, a, a, a high, highly regarded, credible journalist come out and, and prove this connection, then fair enough. But as it stands right now, I've reached out to a few journalists. None of them at this moment in time have said there's anything substantial in Chelsea looking at him. This feels very much like a ploy to push Arsenal along. I want your thoughts and I want your feelings on that, people. The other news today, Bukayo Saka. Manchester City ramp up interest in Arsenal and England star Bukayo Saka as they look to still the march on rivals Liverpool with the Gunners yet to tie the winger down to a new contract. Now, this was a very, very interesting article to read. It really was. It talks about Man City stepping up. And I'm reading it here as I'm talking to you, stepping up their, their interest in the player. The Premier League champions are now closely monitoring the developments regarding his future. Now, there's two years remaining on Bakayo Saka's deal with a one-year extension that is for Arsenal to trigger. Bakayo Saka has almost no say in that. Arsenal can trigger it when they want. So essentially, he has three years remaining on his contract, which is, which is a substantial amount of time. It says here there are it goes all it's, the article says although any move this this summer currently is currently considered unlikely, City have begun to show an increased interest in Saka at a critical point in his as Arsenal attempt to tie him down to a new long term deal. So again, the article itself is open, openly stating there is no imminent thought or threat of Bakayo Saka leaving. But Arsenal have got to act, and in some respects. So of Manchester City and Liverpool. In my opinion, Bukayo Saka is one of the best young football players in the Prem and one of the best young football players in the world. He is not just technically brilliant, but he is versatile. He can play on the left, he can play on the right. And I think we're just scratching the surface with how good this young man could be without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. Sensational, sensational young player. Now, what I think Arsenal need to be wary of is Champions League qualification. The fact that both Manchester City and Liverpool, potential, not potentially, they do. There's going to be gaps in their squad very soon for that right-hand side of the attack. Mo Salah may not sign his new deal and leave on a free. Mares isn't getting any younger. Why would they not consider Bakayo Saka? Now, I know that Liverpool fans, sorry, Arsenal fans will sit there and say Liverpool don't have the facilities. Man City most certainly do. Don't think that Liverpool don't have money, by the way. If they want to spend it, they'll spend it. This is a really interesting story for me. Now, I know Gooners are going to be like, oh, Terry, you're just trying to make us worried, make us panic, make us scared. That isn't the point of this at all. This is a credible story that's quite openly stated there isn't an imminent threat. But I believe there should be. And the reason I say that is this. If Liverpool and City allow Saka to sign a new deal at Arsenal, this player that I have no doubt in my mind is going to achieve the highest of the highest level in the game, he's suddenly going to cost you an extra 20, 30, 40 million pounds. If Saka continues to improve over the next 12, 18, 24 months, but has four to five years left on his contract, he's earning north of £150,000 per week, the deal for Man City and Liverpool becomes even more expensive. TV right money, TV deal money is going to increase again. There's a new big deal from America. The money comes in, I think, beginning of this season. It means all the clubs are richer, which means all the clubs will have to pay more, especially for homegrown players. They come at a premium. Not only because of the homegrown tag, which helps your squad, you have to have a certain amount in your team, but there's also the element of the commerciality. Saka is an England star. His image rights are worth so much money commercially. So I sort of look at this situation and think to myself, there may be no imminent danger right now, but if I'm a Man City fan or I'm a Liverpool fan and I want Bakayo Saka at my club, I would be demanding the move is made now. He's going to still cost you north of 80 million pound for Saka. 
but it could be 40, 50 million pounds more expensive in a year if Arsenal time down to this new deal, which I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to do. He loves Arsenal. He has faith in their project right now. But remember, there is no guarantees with the Arsenal project that they'll make it back into the top four, that they'll be competing in the Champions League, therefore making Saka potentially available. But he may become available at a very, very, very high premium. So I'm really intrigued by this story. It kind of stood out to me last night. I thought, oh, it's interesting. You know, and I know Gunas won't like seeing it. If I was an Arsenal fan, I'd look at it from this point of view. It shows you how good Bakayo Saka is. What I would be doing is putting pressure on my club to improve your squad. Either get Arteta to the right level or bring in a better manager at some point. Because the one thing Arsenal can't afford to do this time around is lose their stars. They need to add to it and maintain. Over the past nine on 20 years, the vast majority of Arsenal's best players have left, generally in their pomp. And most of them have gone on to bigger and better things. That is an element that has to change and has to stop at Arsenal Football Club. And we look at these two deals this morning, and I'm praising Arsenal here, and I've done this on many, many shows. You are big Arsenal Football Club. You can attract players without Champions League football, but there has to be growth. Stop arguing with Man City and pay the asking price of Gabriel Jesus before one of these teams are loosely linked with him does get themselves involved and get Bakayo Saka tied down. Because if, if Liverpool or City had any sense right now, they'd be dropping a 70, 80, 90 million pound bid. They'd be offering Bakayo Saka the best deal imaginable to take him out of the Emirates. Not, because, not, not as a dig at Arsenal, but because you've got one of the best young talents in the world. You need to improve this squad tie him down and show everybody that you are absolutely, the Cronkies have got to show everybody that they are absolutely serious, not about top four qualification, but one day getting back to winning Premier League titles. These are the signings and players that you must get and keep. It's as simple and as straightforward as that. Viewers, I want your thoughts. I want your feelings. Smash the like button before you go anywhere. Make sure you subscribe. Take care. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you all again soon.